Time for a little fun. This is Happy Hour. And it's clothing for those with attitude. What's behind the design of Tap Out Clothing? All this and more from the Bull and Bear at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. On tap next, they quit their jobs to sell T-shirts at underground fighting competitions. So just how did they end up running a $25 million business? We'll throw a few punches with the guys behind the Tap Out brand when Happy Hour returns. If you guys are cool, you're wearing tap out, apparently. <laughs> a loyal fan base of millions wear their fashions. So who would believe that these guys, which you see them, these guys, no, started out selling T-shirts out of the back of a borrowed truck. Now the mixed martial arts brand tap out surpassed sales of ready drum roll 25 million dollars last year and they have projected sales of more than a hundred million for 2008. Wow. Welcome. Two happy hour tap out founders, Dan Puckass Caldwell, Charles Mask Lewis, and Tim Skyscrape Cats. Welcome to happy hour, guys. You said that good. Yeah. Yeah. It flowed. Thanks All those names shirt, came up the tongue. Too. What's this guy's name? His Punkass. Okay. That's his name. And in here to prove it, get a close up of your tattoo, Punkass. Oh, it's on my lip. Punkass on his Boom. lip. Yeah. There. Boom. All right, now, so uh, tell us about how in the heck all of this started. It's just blown up, but how did it get started? First of all, who started it? Who was the first Mask. one? Mask. Right. Yeah, I'm a CEO. Basically, started training in 93, like the next weekend after the first Ultimate Fighting Championship that uh, Hoist Gracie won. And Punk Ass and I started training in garages because we couldn't actually afford to both take lessons. So one would take lessons for a month and, and show the other and, and vice versa. A little bit later down the line, um, we, we started a company out of a necessity of there was nothing that you could put on that was an extension of mixed martial arts, right. like you could put on Nike to be an extension of basketball or Adidas for soccer. So, so. Th this sport is exploding. I guess you guys are participating at 25 million last year, looking at 100 million this year. I, I guess, you know, they're, they're mainstream now. They've gone, they've taken, uh, you know, some of the wrestling crowd and some of the but boxing crowd. But I don't understand what's the difference between, uh, or is it the same thing? Is it with uh, what we see the UFC, the ultimate fighting in, in mixed martial arts is that all the same thing yeah the mixed oh, okay. martial arts ultimate fighting that's the biggest promoted show out there that's basically the staple <laughs> of mixed martial arts and we're just an extension of that you'll see our logo and fighters in there Scott, and skyscrape are you guys the official uh, apparel maker for, for uh, ufc we are you know in our own words the number one brand in the sport of mixed martial arts and right. so, like the fighters in the ring, there we'll see your uh, logo. The right, they'll out. be wearing our shorts. You know, like yeah, these are some of the shorts short. they'll fight oh, in. Tap out, yeah. Chuck Liddell, different top fighters. You oh, know, that guy's the big guy. What we sell is what they wear. Yeah. Okay, so um, in, in punk ass, my one of our producers, Nicole, she said she's into the whole kickboxing scene. She says that Everlast is out. It's all about you guys now. Yeah, we're the new up and coming <laughs> thing. You know, I mean, we're, we're we're based around the sport of mixed martial arts, and and with the growth of mixed martial arts. Um, you know, Everlast was based around boxing, and, and boxing has kind of lost their luster. So, all right. So this stuff, over. this stuff is great. Where do I get it? We're in Champs right now. We just went down walking around last Champs, night down Times Square and saw it in Foot Locker, big display out in front. We're right at tapout.com, you know, tap right on our com. website. Yeah. And, and it's not cheap, folks. I mean, you guys are getting good price, good money for this stuff. You're able to charge pretty high prices. But it's good product. You it know? is. Yeah. Where do you have it made? Years and years made? of America. Uh, in, in the USA? Really? Oh, yeah. And the sandals. Yeah, we got the sandals, the too. Yeah. Yeah. We, have, wow. we have some products that are then, you know, that we source outside the U.S., too. But, um, yeah. you know, we, we try to do as much as we can. It's still in the U.S. So any, how, any, how, I'm sorry, how has this changed your life? You guys are going to, you guys are multi-millionaires. <laughs> uh, you know what, we're constantly focusing day to day on just getting it to the next step. Sometimes people say stop and smell the roses. We're like, we're so far continuing trying to get to Oz down that yellow brick road. We forget where we've been five minutes ago. And we have our TV show too, so. Yeah. That's right. Are you guys versus. still fighting? Um, no, we just train. Yeah, just we train. just train with all those guys. The best guys. We're concentrating lot. on our business, you know. Um, it's it, it's a lot of work, and these guys, wow. the fighters, those guys are honestly, you know, athletes, and oh, those guys right. train Great all day. Athletes, day. And, athletes and, and a bit crazy too. Oh, you see that? Oh. hey guys, uh, congratulations! Wow. You guys appreciate almost you guys, left me speechless. Appreciate you guys spending a little time with us. We don't look very, you know, like everybody else. We don't look as sharp street, as my man. Yeah. 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 One day we're trying. I'm trying to take that one Rolex day. off. One right day there. we're going to have a Rolex like that. Hey, you guys have already recorded. <laughs> <laughs> On tap 
Next, uh, our next guest will blow you away, even more than these guys, apparently. Well, this is because he works in wind energy. And do that for a minute. <laughs> hey, we're going to talk with the co-founder of Southwest Wind Power when happy hour comes right back.